All right, so for the last year, particularly through the pandemic, one of the things that I've been immersing myself in is online learning platform Masterclass. You may have seen ads for it online, maybe a billboard, or even your favorite celebrity talking about their new class. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down what you need to know about the platform, talk about my experience with it, and let you know whether it's worth purchasing and if I recommend it or not. So Masterclass has been growing rapidly, receiving more rounds of funding and seeing its valuation shoot up really high. As an online course platform, this is pretty much the only one of its kind where you can learn from the best, and I mean the very best in any industry. Wanna learn about film from Martin Scorsese or cooking from Gordon Ramsay or chess from Gary Kasparov, Masterclass will have that for you. That's basically the value proposition. Through these courses, these experts talk about their journey and the things that you need to know as you navigate becoming better at that particular skill. Masterclass initially had the option to charge per course, but has now opened up access to all of its courses for the price of $180 per year. The main hook for me, as it might be for you, was wanting to access one particular course from one person. For me, that was the business strategy and leadership course by Disney CEO Bob Iger. For you, that might be different, but what I found was that I ended up consuming so many more courses from so many other people as well. Bear in mind that to start off with, you kind of need to be somebody who's really interested in learning whatever you can about a variety of things. This is true in my case. Even though I started on a business course over the course of this year, I've watched courses on acting, fashion, filmmaking, entrepreneurship. Uh, sleep science and magic even. My favorite course ended up being the one on small business entrepreneurship by Sarah Blakely, the founder of Spanx. She really shared some practical tips and broke down the process of moving from an idea to a successful business, all while using her own personal examples. I've even condensed some key points that she shared into my own notebook so that I can refer back to them later. Most of the courses on here will also give you a downloadable workbook that you can use after your membership runs out as well. These will give you a breakdown of some of the important ideas that were explained by the expert, which you can then keep studying and reminding yourself of over time. The one thing I noticed about this platform that I thought was truly impeccable was the production quality. The image is so crisp with a slightly blurred background. The insert cards help divide the lessons up into sub-chapters so it's easily digestible. And it just makes you want to keep watching more because of how great it looks. Now you might be thinking, okay, Bihan, I hear what you're saying, but I'm not really going to become an expert just by watching a course. And that's true, you're not. It's virtually impossible to become a great tennis player just by watching Serena Williams on Masterclass. You have to go out there and hit tennis balls for years and years before you become reasonably good. But what this platform does is it gives you access to these experts who have credibility and know what they're talking about. I've always believed in standing on the shoulders of giants and learning from those who have done it before you. Honestly, each course is going to be very different. The structure that each instructor creates varies greatly. Some of them will give you more practical step-by-step -step approach to the subject, and some others will you know, be more like a high-level discussion about ideas and thoughts. So really experiment with a few to see which ones work for you. For instance, I've noticed that there was a significant difference between the way that Gordon Ramsay structured his course and the way that Wolfgang Puck structured his course. And you might just prefer one over the other. What Masterclass does is it gives you perspective and a supportive voice to know that it is possible to learn the basics and hone your craft over time. One of the only other platforms that does this is Skillshare, which you've probably seen many of your favorite YouTubers talk about. The primary difference is that the courses on Skillshare are not taught by world-renowned experts, as Masterclass has. One of the primary value points of Masterclass that I found is that it really does bridge the gap between entertainment and education. It's obviously entertaining to watch some of your favorite people talk about their craft and share tips and advice for two to four hours, but there's a lot that can be learned from them. I've always thought that one of the keys to long-term growth is to choose education over entertainment. So when you're home in the evening after a long day of work, instead of tuning your mind out for hours watching Netflix, maybe you could pick up a book that could show you how to start that business or improve your finances or learn that skill. Somehow, 
something like Masterclass makes that switch seem much more doable. Even if you don't have a lot of time during the day, you can even listen to the courses while you're commuting to work or before you go to bed. I generally watch a lot of the courses while I'm doing my cardio at the gym. There are new courses and instructors released on the platform every month, so there's likely going to be a bunch of courses that will appeal to you. Now having said all of that, is Masterclass worth its $180 a year price tag? In my case, it really was. Whether it is for you depends on how much value you are willing to extract from it. If you're willing to explore a bunch of subject areas and learn what you can, then it might just be worth every dollar. It can be easy to forget that you subscribe to the platform and instead binge the next season of whatever show you're watching. But if you regularly carve out time to explore the courses and find subjects and instructors that interest you, I can assure you that there's plenty to be learned and gained from it. Once again, manage your expectations with regard to the level of proficiency you're hoping to have at the end of a course, and instead use it as a great way to access the minds of the experts in the fields that you wanna become better at. As always, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead, make love to that like button. Subscribe as well. There's a little bell right next to that, and if you hit it, great things might just happen. You never know. See you next time.